hey guys welcome back to my channel i am back with another video so i have to tell you guys this is my favorite type of video now you guys know i make entrepreneurship videos i make hair videos i make home decor videos but out of all my videos my luxury handbag video is the favorite video for me to record and i love watching luxury handbag videos so with my love of watching videos this came about so i'm gonna tell you about this bag so this is the ysl lou camera bag in black leather with gold hardware um so i'm gonna talk about this bag and i'm gonna tell you guys the story about the bag and i'm gonna tell you what all fits in the bag as well as what i love about the bag and what i dislike about the bag so i'm gonna tell you the story about this bag so I was in the market for a new bag and I won't say in the market because I wasn't really going to buy the bag anytime soon, but I knew I needed a new crossbody everyday bag. Now, all of my bags are designer bags. So when I wear everyday bags, they are designer and when you wear a designer bag, you have to be really, really careful with the designer bag because it can be very, very delicate. And sometimes you can just beat up a designer bag if you're wearing it every day. So I was in the market for a new everyday crossbody designer bag. I'll show you guys my other crossbody designer bags and why I went with this bag. So this is my everyday, um, one of my everyday crossbody bags, which is the uh, Louis Vuitton favorite bag and then I have my Gucci disco bag which as you can see shows some signs of love um and you know after a while these do show signs of wear and tear one because the bags um have fabric inside of them this one has white fabric I, it's stuffed but it has fabric inside of it and I actually got this bag restored and got new fabric in it so when you have these bags as everyday bags, they tend to show signs of wear and tear on the inside, as well as um, I do have a slight crack because you cannot use hand sanitizer during this time and wear this bag. So that's how I ended up finding this bag. I really needed a bag, one that did not show signs of wear and tear over time. That was really, really, really important to me. And two, I really wanted a bag that had black interior so i was looking i'll show you guys the interior i was looking all over the internet um and i watch um luxury handbag videos all the time so i was watching so many videos with this bag and i was like you know what i really want that bag i want that bag one because all the reviews say that you could beat the bag up and it looks like new and i do have another YSL bag and it looks just as new as the day that I purchased the bag. So I really wanted a new crossbody bag, a new everyday bag. And this when I watched the, the when I watched the reviews, this bag was everything that I wanted in the bag. It had size, it had the inside, and I just knew that in the future I was going to get this bag. So on Christmas, my husband actually purchased the bag for me. I was actually really, really surprised um, because I mentioned that I wanted to get this bag, but I didn't know I was going to get it on Christmas morning. So I was really surprised when he did um, buy this bag for me for Christmas because it was the exact bag that I wanted. So I do love the size. And actually, Christmas was the very first day that I seen this bag in person. And when I seen it, I was just shocked. I was shocked because it is bigger than my everyday bag, but it's so perfect for my lifestyle. So seeing the bag in person just confirmed that it was the bag that I absolutely needed. So I did wear this bag a couple of times. Um, and I just wanna tell you guys what I like about it, what fits, what I dislike about it. And, um, if I would purchase another camera bag. So one of the things that I do like about it is the leather. I love the leather. Um, 
this bag is not a bag where it will scratch up easy i keep my nails pointy so i don't have to worry about the bag getting scratched up i don't have to worry about the bag getting scratched up against anything i'm wearing um just like my other ysl bag i think it will hold up very well over time and that's why ysl is one of my absolute favorite designers of all time just because the bags the, the quality of the bag is impeccable. Like, it is so, so, so good. And then, um, if you actually have an issue with the bag and you go to the store, like, the customer service is amazing. They will replace it. I haven't had to replace a bag. But when I did purchase my YSL wallet, he basically said, like, if you have any issues with it, um, bring it back and we'll give you a new one. So, I just, I really love YSL. All right, so the bag, like I said, it's pretty big. Um, it's pretty big, but it's small enough for everyday use. And it's light. Like, it doesn't have so much weight to it, whereas if you wear a crossbody, your shoulder will be hurting because the bag itself already has weight. This is a very, very, very lightweight bag, which is what I love because I can be walking around for hours and the bag is not going to hurt my shoulder or it's not going to hurt my back. I have a YSL envelope bag and that bag is not for like long periods of time because that bag is heavy. Um, inside, I could fit a lot of things. Now, and that's why I really did want a new one because with the pandemic and everything, I have a lot more stuff in my bag than I had before. And, um... I tend to wear my bags on the weekend because I do uh, carry my Louis Vuitton Never Full bag. Um, so I tend to wear my crossbody bag on the weekend. And I'm pretty much um, putting everything but my laptop from my other bag into this bag. So I'll show you guys everything that fits in this bag. Uh, my phone also fits in this bag, but I use my phone for my mic. So I'm not going to show you guys my phone. But this is my full bag, completely packed. And I still have a ton of room for the bag and even, I mean, a ton of room for extra stuff and even my phone. So I have my YSL um, card holder, which I use every day. This is amazing. If you guys are looking for a card holder, I recommend this. And it's fairly inexpensive. I think it's like $300. So I definitely recommend this. And it matches perfectly with the bag. Um, I also have lotion, which I carry more of because of the pandemic. Um, hand sanitizer. I tend to carry bigger hand sanitizer now because I'm carrying hand sanitizer for everybody in my household, myself, my husband, my daughter. We all share hand sanitizer these days. I have my keys. I have my AirPods with my keys and i also have lipsticks so that is everything that fits inside my bag and this is what i always carry in my bag i don't carry a whole bunch of stuff in my bag but for some reason a whole bunch of stuff ends up in my bag by the end of the day so another thing that i do like about this bag is this very easy to zip sometimes i do have trouble zipping up my other bags but this bag is very easy to open and unopen so i'll tell you um one thing that i was really confused about with this bag because in some of the reviews i saw people had the tassel on the bag and so when I got the bag in the box, I was really confused about the whole tassel situation um, because I thought the tassel went on the zipper part, but it actually hangs just like that. And I also seen some reviews where people said that this was an issue that it curls up, but it's not an issue for me. So if you see my other bag, the tassel kind of is on a zipper so that is that was something that i found a little weird another thing about this bag i really really love the leather of the bag i'm making a video 
Yeah. You seen the basketball? Mm-mm. <laughs> Another thing about this bag is um, I have a, the other YSL bag. I have it. It comes in this leather. I'm not sure what type of leather this is. And it's very, very easy to keep clean. This leather does not... Um, this this size of the camera bag there's other sizes it does not come in this type of leather so after each use I just make sure I wipe it down and I stuff the bag so I'll show you guys how the bag looks on me I am approximately five feet I'm very short um, so sometimes bags tend to hang a little bit low on me just because of my height and I always have to put it at the smallest setting just so it can sit on me perfectly. So I'll show you guys what the bag looks like on me. It is so cute y'all. This, this bag is perfect because I don't dress up every day. I own a business so most of the time if i am wearing this bag to work which is very rare or if i'm wearing the bag after work i usually because i own a business i can wear whatever i want to wear to work so whether i'm dressed up whether i am in a jogging suit your girl is gonna look good <laughs> um so and it's not to the point where it's too you can pretty much dress wear this bag dressed up or dressed down which is what i really 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 love about it so i'll show you guys how it looks on me it is so cute okay girl all right so here it is isn't she so cute it is a perfect height and like I said, I could dress it up or I could dress it down. All right, guys. So like I said, I could dress it up, I could dress it down, and the bag is perfect. So that is how I am feeling about this bag. If you guys want to see my other handbags, I do have a handbag playlist. Um, if you got, if you have any questions about this bag, leave it down below. Before I end this video, I know you guys are going to ask about my hair. Um, I got my hair done yesterday, actually. I got wand curls um, by my stylist. And basically, the humidity was 95% um, since I've gotten my hair done. And it's swelled up. But it looks so, 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 so pretty. But anyway, if you guys have any questions leave them down below i'll be sure to answer them and thank you so much for watching this video i will see you guys in my next video bye